we give, okay, this is something maybe a little different that we do. And as a, as a co-op, we decided we, we give people the best that they can get, you know, with wireless. Uh, and uh, what, one thing I did want to mention, you know, as a wireless internet service provider, I, I think at this stage, I can clearly say wireless is not the solution. 5G <laughs> for, hmm. for running, for getting internet to people's homes or a fixed location, wireless is not the solution, no matter what fancy term you give it. Well, at um, least but, in our area. No, I, I mean, well, I think if you live in the plains, you know where there are no trees. Yeah. Maybe. Well, yes, I, I, maybe I'm being a little hyperbolic, but there's certainly areas where there's certain specific situations where it's probably a, makes sense, but in general, you have to evaluate each situation. In our situation, you know, depending on the terrain, primarily the, the tree coverage, you, you can have homes that are, you know, basically next door where somebody will get, you know, like 40 megabits, which is the most we'll, we'll provide on our wireless service. Um, and another person that may struggle to get 10 or that we can't hook up at all, you know, people within a few hundred yards of each other. Um, because we, we have some houses that are, you know, in, in the woods, yeah, actually quite a few, maybe, maybe uh, 15, 20% of our uh, subscribers are basically homes in the woods and, um, getting, uh, getting, um, you, you know, what the, getting, a, a, um, a wireless, um, internet service to meet today's needs, especially under the pandemic uh, situation where people are zooming all the time is really difficult when when you have uh, obstructions like hills or, or other terrain um, and 5g is not going to solve that issue 